Well, it's a Christmas mailbag. Merry Christmas, it's the 25th of December. Let's get onto it. This is a big one. So as always, we're going to go smallest to largest. Put the links down below for things I can give you links for. Wireless charger pad. Now this is a Christmas present. So it, this is a Christmas mailbag. And this is what I'm giving my wife for Christmas. A wireless charger for her iPhone. Well, it's one of the things I'm giving you. I'm giving you a few things. Also, don't tell my wife about the Christmas present, okay? Don't tell her. Mind you, by the time you see this, she would have got it. Probably. Yes, so it should be fine. You can tell her. Or not. Ah, a little present I bought myself. It's a little torque wrench thing, so no idea how to use it yet. Obviously, I've only just got it. It's got some adapters. So half inch to whatever that is. Is it a quarter inch? Is it half inch to three eighths? Is that a three eighths drive or half inch drive? I don't know. Half inch drive. But I don't actually have any torque wrenches at all. And I've been meaning to get one. So this is just basically an adapter. You stick on your existing ratchet or lever bar and you can just adapt it and it gives you a torque. I don't know how accurate these things are, but it's going to be better than nothing, isn't it? It was out by 10%. It's still going to be better than my guess. <laughs> Big links for this down below. Maybe you can read that. Maybe you can't. And here's the other side. Which model is this one? This is the ANC30. So this one, minimum is... Uh, 0.01 newton meters maximum is 0.9 to 30 newton meters and I've got the half inch drive version not the quarter inch drive version and apparently has an accuracy spec of 2% clockwise and 2.5% counterclockwise let's take the cover off the back here so I think this is where the batteries go yep as expected no batteries so it looks like it takes a couple of triple A's I've seen these used by someone who did I see using it I don't know I've seen someone on the YouTube channel using one and that's why I um, decided to get some. Because, hey, if someone else is using it, it's probably all right. There's even a little space in here for batteries, which aren't present. They didn't ship the batteries with it, cheap skates. But it is a rather nice case. So in fact, it's got a spot for the batteries and a little screwdriver, which you can store the batteries outside of the unit and fit them when you need to use it. And that's actually a really nice, little robust little case. There's another dash cam. I've purchased so many dash cams, but they don't seem to last that well. They last, you know, a few years, and then they're, they're basically knackered after that. I don't know what it is. I've got one sitting on my desk, actually. I want to try and pull it apart and fix it if I can, but that's basically the internal battery is knackered on it. It dies. And I've had a few different ones where the quality has not been good enough, or they just haven't really functioned the way they promised they'd function, that kind of thing. I've had a few which have been good, but uh, a lot of times I've been disappointed. So this one, I don't know how good this is. I just saw this online. This is also another present from my wife. Shh, don't tell her. Much yeah, you can. It's all right. Of course, she's got a new car and you need to put a dash cam in it. Screen, buttons on the back, nice. Standard screen mount there, nothing particularly special about that. So we've got suction cap mount, USB mini to USB. This is for doing panel clips, so if when you run the cables from the rear camera, it's got a rear camera as well, see that? This is so you can get the trim levered out so you can run the cable down the side of the car. And here will be a cigarette lighter to USB socket, which is rated at 5 volts, 3.1 amps. Nice. So it's front and rear camera. So it'll be a job I'll be doing very soon, I suspect, to uh, get her in there. That's all right. That's true Christmas presents for wife. So I bought this thing locally. It didn't get it off AliExpress or anything. Yeah, you probably can get it off AliExpress. I wanted it sooner. I left it a bit late to get it from AliExpress, so I ended up buying it locally. There are the specs. 2 inch screen, 240 by 320, 170 degree angle, H.264, 6 to 256 gig, memory card, that's nice. It uses um, super capacitor in it, not a battery. Yeah, it doesn't say much about the specs there, but it's better than no camera. Larger package. So it's a 29.2 volt, 30 amp, smart lithium multi safety protection charger thingy. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a battery charger, all right? But this is, because I've upgraded to lithium batteries in the motorhome there, and that was rather expensive, certainly. <laughs> that's, that was very expensive. Yes, it's got the wrong plug, but that's fine. It's supposed to be multi-voltage, so I, sh I should be able to change the plug and be fine. Input, 110 to 240 volt AC, 50 to 60 hertz. So I can just swap the plug to a New Zealand plug, and that'd be fine. Not much to do here, not much on there. 
There's no displays or any of that. It's just a basic charger. It can do 30 amps. With these lithium batteries, part of what I need to do on them is to actually fully discharge them and then fully recharge them. That's okay. I mean, I've used my power supply. I did that on the first one. I actually did some video about it, but I don't actually... Nothing I'm going to publish it is just for, for my own reference, really. But I did a, a discharge test on the battery and I partially recharged it again to be a similar kind of level it was when I got it. So it's because I've got two of these batteries and they're 24 volt batteries. So I did a basically like a battery calibration by discharging it, but I didn't fully recharge it because it's going to take forever on this now. I didn't want to stress my lab power supply, right? I didn't want to put that on 10 amps for 10 hours, it's going to you know, potentially damage it. So it could take it fine, I don't know, maybe, but I don't want to risk damaging my power supply. It's a really good little power supply, it works really well for me. I decided to just charge it as much as I needed to get it close to where it was before to match the other battery. But I thought, well, okay, I need a battery charger. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have a display or anything on it. It was relatively cheap. How good is it? I've got no idea. But it's got decent cocktail clips on it, looks of it. Look nice enough. Lithium iron phosphate, I should probably specify that. 29.2 is the maximum voltage the batteries can be charged to. That's what the recommended maximum it is, is 29.2. And yes, there's another cat. Now, there isn't my usual cat. This is a beast, this thing. It's not my cat. There <coughs> you go. This thing, humongous cat. It's um, my stepson's cat. He, he came back and uh, he seems to own a cat now. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a beast. More like a panther than a cat. Look at the size of this thing, it weighs about, I think it weighs six kilos. <laughs> Something like that. Maybe more than that. It's heavy. I'll let you know how this thing goes, I suppose. I don't tell my wife out the presents. Yeah. Shh. Top secret. Bonus mailbag. Got some stuff which just arrived, so let's open these as well. Just a glue stick. I got these for the 3D printer for when I need to do glue sticking onto the bed to help things stick. Mostly with like PETG. PLA seems fine on the bed I've got. PLA sticks absolutely fine when I've got, but sometimes you need something else. So, a couple of glue sticks. I look excited. I could have bought them locally, but they're cheap from AliExpress. All right, just some small electrical terminals. Uh, can we see the markings on those? SC44, so it's a 4mm hole with a cross sectional 4mm area. So it's 4mm square cable with a 4mm hole. I was getting really low on this style. I think I only had a couple left, so. These arrived just in time, I think. Nice recycled packaging, anyway. Completely paper. Nice. Not too exciting. It's an Apple original lightning to USB cable. Sometimes you do need an original cable, because sometimes the third party ones don't quite behave right. I need you to get one of these to prove there's an issue with a car stereo. My wife's car, she's got a new car, and it's got a brand new car stereo in it, and she has issues with it disconnecting randomly and just being a pain, basically. It's got CarPlay on it and stuff like that, but it causes all kinds of problems. So we wanted to rule out cables. And I wasn't sure that the cables we had were Apple Originals, because they're not marked really as Apple. Because, you know, you get clones which look exactly the same. And I've bought clones in the past, so I got an Apple Original cable, so we can try that in there and see if it solves the problem. If it doesn't solve the problem, then we know. It's definitely the stereo. And we can go back and say, the stereo is the problem. We tried two different phones, both phones did it. We've tried an Apple original cable, still does it. It has to be the stereo. That's something we can use as ammunition to go back and say, actually there's a problem. This was not cheap. These things are like $40 compared to an aftermarket cable. So this is why I tend to buy aftermarket cables, which I've generally done fine. We had to get an original one to be sure that that is the problem. Christmas present for the wife. Don't tell her. So can you guess where this box came from? Comments down below. I think I need to shove my rem knife. Let's get a bit blunt. Everybody needs a sharper memory. It's absolutely stuffed full. Look at the car, it's got this seal on it as well. Haven't had one of these before. Here we go, it's, you can read it yourself. Obviously a, a card they use for everyone they work with. I just fill in the bits as appropriate. So PCBY have been one of my sponsors for quite some time now. And whenever I need PCBs made, I always get them from the PCBY. And obviously they're sponsorships, so I never pay for them. So, yeah, so it depends on when I'm doing projects. If I do a project and I'm making a PCB, I get it from PCB Way, so this is why I have a collaboration with them. Win-win, I get free PCBs, they have to pay for shipping. The shipping is an expensive bit, not the actual PCBs themselves, the PCBs are cheap. To get PCBs to me is expensive because of where I am. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay, so you've got a PCB Way mouse pad. 
with a wrist protection thing, so it helps you stop ISO. I've also got these ones for the keyboard as well. My soft pad. Nice. That'd be useful. Oh, it's one of these neck support things. So you put this around your neck when you're travelling or in the car or something like that. Or maybe on the plane maybe. And it helps support your head so you can have a sleep if you're sitting there. That'd be useful. That would definitely be useful. There's been times I wish I had one of these actually. That's been good. Have a PC Bay lanyard. Nice colour profile there. Quite changes through. You have another one. Green. Christmassy one. Have a Christmas light. And we have another one here, which is a Christmas tree light. Sparky lights and they'll, they'll flicker and pulse and change colours, stuff like that. Just put a CRTO32 battery in them. They can go on a Christmas tree and sparkle away. I think they sent me one of these or something like this last year. Yeah, it's like a. Yes, I made, I made a mistake at the time. So it looks like a cushion, right? Because in this format, it is a cushion. But actually, it's not just a cushion. Last time I did this, I had regrets because I, I'm terrible at folding things. <laughs> but it's more than just a cushion it's actually like a little blanket you can just wrap yourself up on it you know for sitting on a couch or whatever so it's little blankets for those winter days which is great if at christmas time you're in a cold climate like it says in europe and some of that or where it's cold at christmas where i am christmas time not cold it's summer but this will still get used in winter there's no reason why it wouldn't this is really useful i've got two of these now so the last time i thought it was the cushion now i know better I've, I've educated myself rather. My wife might have educated me very slightly on that matter. <coughs> Don't tell her she's right. Okay, maybe, maybe can tell her she's right. She's right quite a lot, actually. <laughs> but I'm never wrong, but she's sometimes right. Often. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to get it right out. I'm sure there's an easy way of doing this. I just don't know what it is because I'm useless. Or that. This is not me. I'm an electronics nerd. Occasional tumbler. So you've got a metal straw with a silicon end on it. The size of this thing. <laughs> okay, for scale, normal cup. <laughs> I think it pulls. Yes, it does. Here we go. There's a seal in there. Nice. So this is actually double skin. Double skin, so that'd be warm. You can actually put warm drinks in there. This is huge. You know what? I should give this to my wife for Christmas for her cups of coffee. She likes coffee. <laughs> <sighs> awesome. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, that goes in the top there for the hole in the top. Shove that through there. This looks a bit special. And I almost missed it. I was in the bottom of the box. Check this out. Very nice. It made me a badge. So you can put this on your clothes. It does magnetic attachment. So you just put it on the inside, put it on the outside. There you go. It's on. That's really cool, actually. Personalised. That's what I really like, is that personalised touch. That's brilliant. Well done, Elaine. That's good. Well, that's awesome. Thanks a lot, Elaine and PC Way for sending these to me. Nice little bonus. Lots of useful things in here. Right, that's the my bag done. Happy Christmas. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Have a good day. Some time with family if you can. If you're not a Christian, sorry. I don't know. I don't want to bring religion into it, but, you know, obviously Christmas is based around the Christian faith, and there's lots of other religions out there who don't celebrate Christmas. So, I guess it's a day off for them, really. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Have a holiday. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, everyone has their beliefs. I don't care what the beliefs are. Honestly, don't. It really doesn't matter. To be honest, it's about being a good person. That's what it's all about. Catch you later.